This is Neil Osterweil with Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm speaking with Dr. Anthony Zeitman from Massachusetts General Hospital, chairman of Astro. I think I can say with some certainty this is probably the richest Astro meeting ever. We have 2,400 abstracts that are being presented. The theme is a very clear one. The theme is uh, we have all this technology, this wonderful, wonderful technology. Uh, what is its value? So um, many of the best studies have really looked at patient outcomes as a result of new technologies. And we're trying to ask ourselves the question, had, has all this complexity moved us forward? And I think the answer is generally yes, not always, of course. Uh, probably the most important presentation given yesterday in the plenary session was by Dr. M um, Dr. Michalski. He looked um, at a... Uh, an RTOG trial of men treated with high-dose radiation for prostate cancer, some of whom were treated with the more traditional technique of 3D conformal radiation, and the others were treated with intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT. And what he was able to demonstrate for the first time was that, that the use of IMRT uh, clearly reduced the incidence of uh, genital urinary side effects, bladder side effects, and in, in a secondary study uh, done by um, uh, Dr. Bruner, uh, she pointed out the men who are treated for their prostate cancer with IMRT are more likely to keep their erections. So these are two things that uh, guys uh, are very fond of, their sexual potency and their urinary control. So I think this is the first clear demonstration that high technology can make a difference. What do you foresee uh, will be the role of radiation oncology when we have things like tyrosine kinase inhibitors, other kinds of targeted agents? Well, I think radiation is going to have a different role. I must point out that radiation, of course, is the original targeted therapy. It's radiographically targeted towards the tumor. What we're talking about now are molecularly targeted therapies. Um, I believe that the molecular targeted therapies will add to the portfolio of systemic therapies. I hope that they will increase our rate of eradication of cancers. But the molecular targeted therapies are like other drugs. They have problems with access to tumors where the blood supply may, may be very poor. Uh, it's it's different, difficult to determine um, the delivery right uh, not, not into the surface of the cancer cells but inside the cancer cells so i think they're an important additional arrow in our quiver but i don't think they're going to make radiation therapy or surgery unnecessary i will add that they do um, open up a whole new avenue we're not sure how these molecular targeted therapies are going to interact with radiation uh, we think in a, it probably, in many cases, in a very positive way. But we have a whole uh, decade of experiments ahead of us, when we, or trials ahead of us, when we try and work out the correct sequencing, the correct dose. It's my hope that in the future we'll, A, be able to use radiation less, or perhaps even use it to lower doses and with lower morbidity because of these new therapies. For Global Medical News, I'm Neil Osterweil.